Senate 2010 State Fair poll questions, okay. which will be published on Tuesday. First of all, um, actually, I'm going to go with these. I'm going to go with the Minnesota House of Representatives questions because they're looking a little more interesting. All right. Question number one. When someone wants to purchase a firearm at a gun show, should a background check on the buyer be required prior to the sale? Yes, no, or undecided? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Two, should voters be required to show a picture ID before casting their ballot? That's I'm undecided. undecided. Should the state's 16-year-old moratorium on nuclear power plant construction be lifted? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. If a juvenile commits a low-level non-violent crime, such as drug possession, should they be able to get their record cleared if they complete a diversion program and remain law-abiding for a year? Yes. Yes. If it's non-violent. If it's non-violent. If it's non-violent. Okay. Good caveat. The Minnesota Vikings lease at the Metrodome expires after the 2011 season. Should public dollars be used to help pay for a new facility? No. No. Should school boards be given the authority to extend operating levies without voter approval? That's a tricky one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a property house or so. Undecided. Seven. Should smoking be prohibited in a motor vehicle when a minor is present? I would say yes. That makes sense. Yes. Number eight. The state is expected to face a multi-million dollar deficit in the upcoming biennium. In general, what is your preferred way to balance the budget? A. Increased revenue. B. Decreased spending. Uh, C. A combination of the two. Four. Undecided. A combination. A combination of the two. Number nine. Should the state allow for an expansion of gambling to provide additional revenue for the state? Yes. Yes. Ten. Do you believe liquor stores and automobile dealers should be permitted to open on Sundays? Yes. Yes. Eleven, should an alternative teacher licensure pathway be created so that candidates can receive a limited teaching license if they have at least a bachelor's degree, pass basic skill sets, and complete at least 200 hours of instruction, including student teaching? Yes. Yes. Twelve, do you support tax breaks or other funding assistance to encourage small business growth? Yes. Yes. And thirteen, should the legislature take steps to limit tuition and fee increases at public colleges and universities? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, thanks for your help.